good evening everyone myself dr vivek chavan from grant government medical college and surgery group of hospitals i am presenting a, a paper on masculine technique for treatment of post traumatic bone defects in the compound tibia shaft fracture a case study of 11 patients so uh, to uh, start bone defects may be from trauma bone infection congenital defects or extensive excision of malignant tumors the management of bone defects is very challenging Small defects up to 6 to 7 centimeters uh, is a critical size for non-vascularized bone grafting, while the larger defects require surgical fixation with allografter or a fibula stud grafting. Vascularized bone grafting is a technically demanding and require microvascular surgical skills. The advantage is that the bone can be transferred together with a so soft tissue to cover local soft tissue defect. So today I am going to talk about masculine technique. It does offer an alternative and a viable management strategy for large bone defects. The technique was developed in 1986 to address bone defects as large as 15 centimeters. It was later established that it can successfully address bone defects as large as 25 centimeters. It can be safely used in irradiated or infected areas provided the membrane is formed around the defect to protect and vascularize the bone graft. Indications, diaphyseal and metaphyseal uh, bone defects predominantly of the lower extremity. Contraindications, intraarticular bone defects cannot be uh, uh, treated with uh, masculine technique while persisting osteomyelitis is another contraindication and insufficient soft tissue coverage in the region of the bone defect is a, uh, one contraindication. Masculine technique is a relatively new technique used in the management of large bone defects. It is based on two principles and that is two stages of the surgery. The formation of induction membrane after bone debridement the defect is filled with bone cement. The cement is kept for a period of around eight weeks. This allows the formation of induction membrane. The first stage in masculine technique is mechanical. Uh, the second stage cancellous bone grafting after a period of eight weeks the bone cement is gently removed the defect is filled with cancellous bone graft defects as large as 25 centimeters can be managed using muscular technique the second stage is a biological one the resultant induced membrane was found to be effective in containing the graft materials in situ which expressed bone morphogenic protein 2 transforming growth factor beta vascular endothelial growth factor and interleukin 6 and interleukin 8 materials and methods it was a prospective study of 11 patients with post traumatic bone defects in compound tibia shaft fractures treated with masculine technique and fixation the study duration was about two and a half years from june 2019 to january 2022 the study size was of 11 patients to summarize our study the age group uh, included in the study was around 11 to 40 years out of which eight were male and three were female the gustillo classification from grade 2 to 3b were included in the uh, uh, study and the fixating technique used was intramedullary nail and fixators. Four were intramedullary and seven were fixators. The average duration of uh, between two stages of the surgery was six to eight weeks and the bone defect treated was 4.5 centimeters to nine centimeters. On the outcome of our study was the radiological time for union was eight months on average. As we can see, uh, maximum was nine months and minimum was six and a half months. Complications, there were two complications, pin track infections and pin loosening. Three patients had pin track uh, infections, which was managed conservatively, and one patient had a pin loosening, which was removed. So I'm presenting one case. Uh, he was an 11-year-old male child who presented to us as an operated case of compound grade 3B mid-shaft comminuted tibia shaft fracture with a C-clamp external fixator done two months back. We did a two-stage surgery at an interval of eight weeks, and the time of union seen in this case was seven to eight months. Stage 1, uh, we did a removal of external fixator which he had come to us with and uh, did an excision of necrotic bone fragments which were devitalized followed by an antibiotic bone cement placement and fixation with the LRS uh, fixator. So we can see the bone cement in situ with the LRS fixator. In the stage 2 surgery which was done 8 weeks after the first surgery, cement spacer was removed and replaced with fibula stud graft and autologous in, uh, iliac crest bone graft. Up, this is the follow-up x-ray after seven months when we removed the LRS fixator and put the patient to PTB cast and asked the patient to walk. This is after eight months when the patient uh, came to us, we removed the PTB and did an x-ray. This is the final x-ray and uh, then we gave a patient a PTB bearing, patella tendon bearing brace and asked the patient to walk. Patient is walking with the brace right now. There is one study by Illyria Morelia et al which suggests concluded effective in uh, I, uh, induced membrane technique is effective in infection eradication and treatment of non-unions even if employed large bone defects of more than 20 centimeters. Thank you. Sir.